That's definitely easy to bleed green and white when you grow up in the Morrissey household. Both my parents are from Flint, Michigan. And that is where I met Jim. We went to high school together. We eventually went to college together as well to Michigan State. Bradley over the middle, Kinnebrew had it. Morrissey. Morrissey intercepts. I played at Michigan State from 1981 to 1984. Running out of the stadium at Michigan State meant everything to me. I, of course, went to all the games on Saturdays. Being able to see him play on Saturday afternoons was a great joy for me. Hi, everybody, from the Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor, over 100 Michigan, Michigan State game. They think it's a big game for them. We know it's a big game for us. So in 1984, my senior year, we play at Michigan. Jim Harbaugh was uh, the quarterback at the time for Michigan, and they're playing very well. Unfortunately for Michigan, Jim got hurt. Fumble! Fumble there, and Michigan State dives. It's either Harbaugh or Tyree. Tyree. Tyree comes up with a football. Jim broke his arm, and at that point, then we kind of took off, and we won the game 19-7. to There is a myth out there that I did it, and it's not true. I want to state on the record that I did not break his arm. <laughs> the kids just grew up knowing that Jim and I love our alma mater. On one of the journeys back home, of course, we're like, hey, guys, let's go see where mom and dad went to school. I was about six or seven, and my dad wanted to stop by East Lansing and, you know, show us, you know, where he played. Like, hey, let's go by the football stadium. Maybe no one will stop us. That'd be so cool to have the kids and Annie run out of the tunnel and pretend like you're the 2001 Michigan State Spartans. And get ready for the start of a 2001 football season. Here they come, the Michigan State Spartans. Just to see his face watching us run out there, I think that was the biggest moment that I can remember. You're all Michigan State Spartan. It was such a memory that you know we have on family video that we watch, I think, every year. And it's something that's truly incredible now being a, a fifth year senior here, being able to live out that legacy of my dad playing here and that Morsi name on my back. It's truly, truly special. That other team in Michigan, it's always been a rivalry. Seeing my dad watch those games, I could kind of understand the rivalry a little bit, but um, when I got here, it definitely made more sense. In 2015, I was a redshirt freshman. We were playing at the big house. They were putting the ball away, and Coach D came up to us on the sideline and just says, try to make something happen. We're going to send all 11. 23-21 Michigan. It looks like we are going to go away losing. Matt was right there at the time of the punter trying to kick the ball. Well, he has trouble with the snap, and the ball is free! It's picked up by Michigan State. Jalen wants Jackson, and he scores on the last play of the game! Unbelievable! I was down in the second row, and all the Michigan State players ran towards the Michigan State section. And we're celebrating and celebrating. I'm, I'm looking for Matt. I'm looking for Matt. I don't see Matt. We stayed with Jalen, and you know, he was still in so much pain. And, you know, he's screaming my hip, my hip, and you know, we're just trying to tell him like, hey Jalen, I know you're in so much pain right now, but you just became like, you know, the number one Michigan State legend that you could that you could imagine after this play. And he got a little smile after that. Twenty years down the road, when we come back for a Michigan State reunion. It'll be something special to watch that play.